Hello my friends, welcome. My name is Brisa and I'm so grateful that you are here with me today. Please watch this quick video so you know what to expect from class. The 75 minute yoga classes are actually recordings from the class that I offer every Sunday at noon from my home in North Carolina. I call this class Yoga for a Cause Virtual Togetherness. It's a donation base where 100% of the funds go to the Direct to Believe organization to support the coronavirus response. In these classes, I offer a variety of more advanced poses, but I also offer modifications and variations so all levels are welcome and feel supported throughout the practice. So please take good care of yourself and do what feels good in your body. Stop when you need, drink water when you have to, practice self-care. If you're pregnant, this won't be the class for you, but I also teach prenatal yoga and I would be happy to post some prenatal yoga classes at this channel. Just so send me a message if you are interested. If you are working with that injury or rehabilitating your body, please talk to your doctor to make sure that this is the right class for you. Also, I would like to introduce you to the yoga props, which I like to call enhancers. This is the yoga block. You can always use a stack of books. Yoga strap. You can use a rope belt. I like to always have a blanket for many purposes. Most of the classes you'll be using the blanket roll up. You can use a headband around to make sure it is nice and roll up tight. This is the bar ball, seven or nine inches exercise ball, which I love to work with for so many reasons, but don't worry if you don't have one today, you can roll up to that house or go back to the blanket. Weights, optional, but definitely a great enhancer. Once you're ready, I'll meet you on your mat. Have an awesome practice. Namaste. So if you, I like using a wedge just because I have it, but if Bhattanasana bothers your back, you can always put the towel, the blanket underneath your, your glutes, just to help with your back. Uh, and if Bhattanasana bothers your knees or your hips, you can always just cross your legs. Once you get settled, as much as you can, settle yourself down. Just close your eyes or soft gaze down on the floor in front of you. If closing your eyes makes you uncomfortable at all. Taking the moment to feel your body in this space. In this moment, and start bringing your attention to your breath. And what I would like to offer you today is when you start bringing your ujjayi breath in, squeezing the back of your throat, creating the audible sound. is that you can play where you're putting your focus on. You can either bring the attention to the sound of your breath, if that is more like a white noise kind of focus for you, your own natural white noise machine. It can be the sensations in your physical body as you inhale and exhale, feeling the ribs expanding through the inhale, and connecting with the pull from the belly as you exhale and really tracking your breath into the very bottom of the exhale so you can fully inhale for the next breath. It also can be more energetically as you inhale, you inhale hope, ease, Any energy that you are hoping to get from your practice today. And as you exhale, 
exhaling any doubts, negativity, fear, whatever it is that's kind of on the way right now of you connecting with your heart and your spirit. Take your fingers, cross your, your eight fingers together like this and bring the palms of your hands into your heart. Start tuning in deeply with this moment, with this breath and each breath. I'm getting stuck on the breath before that or thinking about the next breath, but the breath you're taking in now. And exhale all the air out. When you're ready, you don't have to rush. Take another deep inhale. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Just hold at the top on the inhale. And on your exhale, you're going to flip your palms outwards and push your palms forwards round through your back. Just like a sitting cat in cow. Inhale, hands to heart. Exhale, push forward. This time, inhale, arms reach up towards the sky. Even look at your hands. Exhale, push forward. This time, inhale, reach up. On your exhale, bring the left hand to the floor. Next to your left hip, reach the right arm over. Side bend. Just for one or two breaths here. And the next inhale, bring yourself up. Palms together just like we had before. Reach up towards the sky. Exhale, round through your back. Push forward. Inhale up. Moving to the other side. Exhale, right hand on the side of your right hip. Left arm reach over. Bring your shoulders to relax. You don't have to physically push them down, but notice if there's some ease that you can find on your shoulders as you relax your neck. And now back to center. Bring your legs together. You can use your hands. Lie on your mat. So here's where you're going to use your blanket or towels or ball. Those balls, I love using those balls, but the blanket and the towel work just perfect. So you can use whatever you have. For, put it right next to you first, just give yourself a big hug, just to feel your spine down. Sway side to side. Taking a moment here to connect with the sensations of this lying down position right now, your back against the earth. And then start grabbing that ball or the towel or the blanket going between your thighs and reach your legs up towards the sky. Your knees can be bent if your hamstrings are feeling tight this morning. Clasp your hands, all fingers together. Bring them behind your head, right at the top of your neck where your head can rest. Elbows up towards the sky. Exhale first, press a little back down on the mat. Squeeze the ball. Inhale, bring your head and shoulders off the floor. Hold your breath and squeeze the ball. Exhale, curl your pubic bone towards your navel. Bring your both elbows towards the left side. Right elbow towards the left knee. Pull your belly down. Inhale, back to center. Hold your breath, curl pubic bone, squeeze the ball or the towel. Exhale, curl up a second time, left elbow, right knee. Squeeze the towel, pull the belly down. You can always use a block between your legs if you don't have any of those. Inhale back to center. Hold your breath. Squeeze the ball. This time you're going to go into center. Exhale, curl your big one up. Skywards, elbows up. Chest towards your thighs. Keep your chin away from your chest. So you're moving from the belly, from the chest. Pull the belly down. Inhale, release. Let's do one more round like this. Hold the breath. Squeeze the ball, use your inner thighs, curl pubic bone up, exhale, elbows left, right elbow, left knee, 
It's not going to touch, it's just going to go in that direction. Left shoulder blade away from the floor, pull the belly down. Inhale back to center. Hold your breath, squeeze the ball. Exhale, curl pubic bone up, left elbow, right knee. Squeeze the ball, pull the belly down. Inhale back to center. Hold your breath, squeeze the ball. Exhale, curl pubic bone, lift chest up, elbows up. Hold it there. Release your arms towards the top of your mat and bring your legs down like in a low boat. Keep squeezing the calf. Keep pulling the top ribs down towards the mat. Peel the bone towards your navel, flat low back down. And release your feet down, release your chest, your head down, and bring the towel to the side. I'm not going to use it for now. Lay your knees, bring the soles of your feet down, lay your knees. Fall to the left as you roll yourself into a sphinx, stretching your ass. Grab the block. Bring the block in front of you. Bring the pounds. Can you all sing okay? Bring the palms into the block where your thumbs are up and squeeze the block. Elbows on the shoulders. Chest forward. Shoulders down. Your, your low body is actually soft right now. It's not really doing anything. Your elbows press down towards your ribs. Ribs push forward towards your block as you squeeze the block. Turning on. Your butt sits here, chest muscles, okay? Keep the block where it is, push yourself back. Come to your knees, just stay right there with the block and bring your left leg up, just a half way, not all the way up. And we're gonna open sideways, open and lower. Keep squeezing the block, so you we're doing a lot of shoulder stuff today. We're getting actually warm up to go into forearm balance, turning on chest muscles. Here, working the side glute, lift, lift the back, excuse me, the outer left knee towards the sky. This last one, stay up high, now we're gonna pulse. Lift, 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 lift. It's subtle movement, but very focused on the left side, outer glute. Four, three, two, one. Lower the leg. Reach the leg back towards the back of the mat. Now push the block to the side. Come to your hands, curl the back toes under, the right toes under, excuse me. Lift the left leg up and one leg down dog and step the left foot between your hands. Come to carousel lunge, both knees in 90 degree angle. And pulse. So here you want your left knee steps over left ankle, your right knee under the right hip. And you're just hovering your right knee off the floor. Just a few more. You're gonna hold. And we're gonna move into a flow. You're going to open like you're arching with a bow, left arm back, open twist, then close your arms and reach it to incline press the lunge weight on the left foot. Bend the back knee. Reach back, open the chest, close, and reach into incline. Two count, lower. Open, close, belly muscles engage, reach. Just a few more. Push your left heel down to the earth to connect with your left glute. Pull your belly in towards the low back. Reach. Last two. Open. Close. And reach back. Notice the left heel. Push down a little stronger. Turn on your glute. Now hold it here, incline crescent, take one deep breath. On your exhale, lower your hands, turn your left foot, bring the right knee outside of your left ankle, 
and sit down for a spinal twist. Right arm wraps around the left leg, left hand behind you. Hug the left knee in towards the midline so you can really feel the stretch on your left hip. And then release. Hands in front of you. Come back into that forearm with the block. Squeeze the block between your palms. Get your right knee off the floor. You can point your toes if you like. We're going to start open to the side. Lift. Close. Lift. And close. Just a slow warm up here. Hug the belly in. And stay up high. Up. Up. Start pulsing as you connect to the side loop on the right. It might not be such a big movement because you stay where there's already a very strong challenge there and from there you go higher. Shoulders away from the ears. Squeeze the block. Last four, three, two, one, reach the leg all the way back, push the block to the side, palms down, curl the back toes under the left foot, push into one leg down facing up, step between your hands, lower the left knee and pulse, pulse. Back knee under the hip, right knee under the right ankle, tailbone is pulling down Away from low back, so there's no arch, your shoulders stacking over your hips. Push your right heel down. Four, three, two, and then hold low. Reach your both arms in front of you. Open like you're gonna, yes, you got it, and close. Reach forward, bend the knee. Moving the two count. Pull from the belly. Let your back knee guide you as you lower, but the most force and most energy coming from the right foot, pushing the right heel down. When you move forward to incline lunge, you just hinge from the hip as you reach the left knee up towards the sky. Last two. Last one. Hold it in, incline. Take one deep inhale. Exhale, bring your hands down. Left knee outside of the right ankle. Wiggle your butt down between heel and the hip. Left arm wraps around the right thigh. Look over right shoulder. Get a nice hugging of your leg in so you feel on the outer glute. And then release. Hands down. Step back. Lower the forearms, just gonna hold your for, forearm plank, just for a couple of breaths. Couple, I need five. Press your elbows down. You can have the block between your hands if that helps you connect, and squeeze the block. Pull your belly in. One more deep inhale. And then exhale. Lower the knees. Walk your hands on the mat. Prepare for your first downward dog. Curl the back toes under. Lift your booty up. Relax your neck. Make sure you're not pressing your chest towards your thighs and sink on your upper back and letting your ribs flow out. Hug the ribs in. Micro bend your elbows and imagine you squeezing the block between your elbows. 
and start slowly walking your feet towards your hands. Find your forward fold. That means maybe your knees are very bent. This is the first one. Neck soft. Hands can meet the elbows. Ribs resting on thighs. Exhale everything out. Pull your belly in. Inhale, slowly release the arms as you roll your spine and step over your hips. Touch your toes. Inhale, bring your arms up. Glue the palms together, only cross your thumbs, reach towards the sky. Exhale, reach to your left side, bump your hips to your right. Push your right hip down, push your right hip out. Inhale, back to center. You can cross the other thumb on top, reach. Exhale, bump the hips to the left. Press the left heel down and reach your fingers to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, palms your heart. Inhale, chair. Hips back, shoulders away from ears. Pull your belly in, weight to your heels. Do one more inhale, open your heart center. Exhale, stay connected to your breath, lower down, forward fold. Inhale, scoop your chest away from your shins, shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, plant your hands, step back into plank. Lower down, chaturanga, bend the knees and down on the floor this first round. Then elbows, lower the chest. Grab your block. Bring the block in front of you. This is a modified boat. Grab the block like we had before. Thumbs up. Look down on the mat. Inhale, lift your arms up and your legs up. Squeeze the block in between your hands. Squeeze the glutes. Get your thighs off the floor. One more inhale. On your exhale, Release your body down, draw your block close to you, prepare for dolphin. Press your elbows down, down to your knees and push your hips up. Curl the back toes under and lift yourself up. Let your neck go. Left to leg, reach up and back. Press the right hip down, squeeze the block. On your exhale, release the left leg down. Bring your knees down. Bring the block to the side. Palms on the floor, all fours. Inhale, reach the left leg back. Exhale, pull the back toes, right toes under. Lift your one leg down, facing up. Take one more inhale, reach the left leg. Exhale, bend the left knee, roll your hip open. Option two, flip your down dog and reach the hips up as you reach the left arm forward. One more breath here. Find your one leg down dog, maybe bend your both knees, bring your hips towards the back of your mat. To bring the left hand down and then inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, step to warrior two. Step it to your hands. Turn your right toes out and rise. Right hand guides you up. Left knee stacks over the left ankle. Press the outer edge of the right foot down. Turn on your right leg. Flip your palms up. Roll your shoulders open. Beautiful job. We're going to move in our flow. Take an inhale. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, back to center. You can move on your own breath pace. Exhale, reach forward to extend the warrior. Inhale, back to center. A couple more times. Exhale, reach back and reverse. This time, you're going to inhale back to center. On your exhale, options. You can have left arm on the thigh. Both arms up. And one fun thing you can do is take your fingers side in on front of your big and second toe. No weight there. Just touching the floor as you reach the right arm over your ear. 
So you're really using your left leg. Find a comfortable position for your neck. One more breath here. Inhale to reverse. Left palm up. On your exhale, we're going to flip to the other side for side plank. Take your right hand on the inside of the left foot. Left leg up. Any variations here? I like the tree pose one the best because it helps me lift my hips up towards the sky. One more breath here. Press the big toe of the right foot down. Lift your hips up. On your exhale, bring the left hand down. Step between your hands. Runner's lunge. Just stay down here as you prepare for standing splits. Grab the left ankle. You can always take both hands on the floor. Otherwise, you're going to hop forward and start rising the right leg up. Find a place to focus. Reach the back leg up. One more breath. No matter where your hands are, you're going to bring your palms together as you land and press the lunge. Bend the front knee. Right leg way back. Draw your palms together. Find your back bend. Press the lunge. Inhale. Look at your hands. Look where they're going. Keep looking at them. Now start reaching up towards the sky. Keep looking at them. Now look back as you reach back. the warrior three. Inhale, slowly come up. Keep the left knee bent as you transition. Keep your arms above your head if you can. Lift the back leg up. Bend knee at warrior three. On your exhale, extend the left leg. You can always change your arms position if you need to. One more breath. On your exhale, revolving half moon pose. Right hand lengths in front and to the right of your left foot. Left arm spins back. Find that twist with your chest. Here you can flex the back foot. Toes push down. Not push down. Toes point down. So your right hip stays closed. But make sure you're not sagging on the inside of your left foot. Press the left toe down and lift the back side of your right hip up towards the sky. Find your crescent lunge back bend with your left hand behind your back thigh. Slowly bend the left knee. Right leg back. Right palm up. Inhale, lift the right leg, arm up, left hand comes behind you. Find your back bend here, whatever expression. You can always bend your right elbow, catch the back side of your head, and rest your head on your hand. If you have any neck sensations that don't feel very good. Coming to twist. Inhale, slowly coming up. Right hand to the side of the left foot, left arm up towards the sky. And now instead of flatten your right palm down, come to your peace sign in this hand. Find the strength of your left leg, press your left heel down. One more breath like that, roll your chest open, bend the front knee. On your exhale, plant your right hand on the inside of your left foot. Find a fly lizard, whatever expression of the fly lizard you have. Or you can bring the back knee down and stay here in a twist if you don't want to go into arm balance. Otherwise, left arm travels forward between your right hand and your left foot. Come on the outside of your left foot. Start shifting your shoulders over your wrist as you pick up your left foot and hug in tightly around the left arm. Shift your way forward so your chin is almost on the floor and maybe your right leg is going to flow. 
and find the way back. And find one leg down the dog. Inhale, left leg up and back. You guys all with me still? Beautiful. Exhale, lower down. Lower the knees. Get your block. Find your dolphin this side. Press into the block. Shoulders down. Curl the back toes under and lift into dolphin. Right leg up. Inhale to reach. Exhale, relax the neck. Keep squeezing the block between your hands. Turn it on your chest. One more breath. Exhale to lower. Bring the knees down. Bring the block to the side. Come to all fours. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, curl the left toes under, pushing to one leg down facing dog. On your exhale, bend your right knee. Roll your right hip open. Option to flip your dog. Any variation. Find your breath. On your next inhale, find one leg down, dog maybe shifting your hips towards your heels for an easier transition. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, find warrior two. Step between your hands with your right foot. Left arm rises up. Chin in line with your chest. Palms up towards the sky. Feel your bone lengthening down, flatten front body, ribs in, flatten the lower spine, feel your bone down. Hug it all in. Take an inhale, we're going to flow into that little movement flow. Exhale, reach back, reverse warrior. Inhale, back to center, you can move in your own breath flow. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, reach. Way back. This time you're going to hold. Inhale, extend the warrior. Find your version of it. Maybe elbow to thigh. Maybe both arms up. Maybe you want to have your peace sign fingers in front of the big and second toe. No much weight there. See what, they have, what happens to your body when you try. Press your right heel down. Beautiful job, guys. On the next inhale, flip the right palm up and reverse again. As you transition to side plank, inhale forward, left hand on the inside of your right foot. Flip on the edge of your left foot as you find your variation. Mine is trick today. It could be that the leg is on the floor. It could be that your left knee is on the floor, left shin. Press your hips up. Press the big toe down the left foot. <laughs> and slowly release the right hand on the floor and step the right foot between your hands. You're going to prepare for the splits on the side. Your variation, hands on block, hands on the floor. Or if you want a little bit more balance, grab the back side of your right ankle. You can either hop or take a big step forward as you push the right foot down and lift the left leg up towards the sky. Find a place to focus with your eyes. Tons of energy lifting from the left thigh, left calf, all the way to your left foot and toes. We're going to find a crescent lunge back there. Bend your front knee, big step back. Bring your palms together in front of you. Inhale, look at your hands. Keep your focus on your hands. If you're losing balance, open the leg side to right and left so you have a little more Base and you start reaching your fingers back as you bend from me and look back. 
Option here is to bend your both elbows, catch your head, and reach your elbows towards the sky. If that hand is just not comfortable for your neck or your shoulders, And on your inhale, you're going to find a warrior three. Press to the right foot. Keep the right knee bend at first. Knee bend warrior three. Bring your chest down. Reach the left leg back. On your exhale, press into the right leg. Straight leg. One more deep inhale. You can always variate your arms if you need to. On your exhale, revolving half moon. The left hand on the front and the left side of your right foot. Right arm, spiral all the way towards the back of your mat and open to the twist. Flex your back foot, toes pointing down. Press the right toe down and lift the back side sacrum, left side up towards the sky so you're not collapsing. Option to have just two peace sign fingers of your left hand on the floor. One more breath. On your exhale, I'm going to find your crescent lunge back bend variation. Bend the front knee. Left palm up. Right hand towards the back thigh. Options here. So you can have your right arm bent on your sacrum and your left hand catching your head for support. Press your back heel forward, strong connection to the back leg. The right foot is burning right now. You all know that we are, we are together in this. Find your twist, inhale to rise. Left hand to the floor, so you're going to hinge from the hip, two piece sign fingers on the floor if you can, or hand can be in a block, right arm goes up. Press the right heel down, giving you stability, press the back heel forward, turn on the left leg to give you more balance to, more stability to the back side. On your next exhale, you're going to bring the left hand down. And you're going to choose if you're just going to bring the back knee down and continue the twist. Or fly on the earth, right arm spins forward. And then between the left hand and the right foot, plant your right hand on the outside of your right foot. Shift your weight forward, so you're going to tip those on your back foot. And pick up your right foot off the floor if you can. Once you're there, hug around the right arm. Shift your weight forward to your fingertips, and maybe left leg can come up. We're gonna find our one leg down, dog, right leg up on this side. Give that right glute a little moment to recover. And bring the right leg down, then you just walk your dog here just to get rid of any tension in the glutes. Inhale, bend your knees, looking between your hands. Exhale, jump forward or hop or step. Forward, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. This time, toe and heel your feet so your toes are touching. Heels about inch between each other. Inhale, find your chair. Palms together, thumbs crossed. Beautiful. So you're here in your chair. On your exhale, Twist to your left, so you draw your thumbs to your heart and bring the outside of your right arm behind your triceps on the outer left thigh. Inhale, find length. Exhale, roll your chest open. Inhale, lengthening, front of the head away from the spine. Exhale, drawing shoulders away from ears. Inhale back to center, into your chair, exhale other side. 
Connect to the back side of the left arm to the outer side of your right thigh, outer knee. Inhale to length, scoop your chest open. Exhale, press your right hand onto the left hand, roll your chest open. Bend the right knee a little more than the left knee so you can square your pelvis. Inhale, find your chair. Exhale, forward fold. Give your legs a little break here. Inhale, length. Press your hands down. Exhale, step back for plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. Any variations of Chaturanga? Chaturanga, you can come down to your belly. Grab your block. Same thing we did. You're going to bring your hands to the block. But this time, by the way, if you're like, I can't believe this is a one hour class. I'm done here. You're welcome. <laughs> this is how I'm feeling right now. I'm like, wow, one hour is plenty right now. So you're going to bend your elbows and reach your block behind your head. Bend your knees, flex your feet and lift from the heels. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, lift your chest and lift your thighs off the floor. Squeeze the block. Squeeze heels into glutes as you lift or try to lift your thighs off the mat. Two more breaths. <laughs> Exhale, just come down. Whoa, guys. I'm totally over your brain right now. I'm down, just relax here. And then draw the block in. I'm gonna set up for four arm balance with the block. So here's where the wall can come in handy. And I have been practicing off the wall for the past maybe one or two weeks. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm a little uh, terrified of doing during class and falling. So I'm going to get just a little bit closer to the wall so I can catch myself in case if I do lose balance. So that's kind of what I was hoping for you too, is that you just do what it's comfortable for you. If you never did at all for balance, you can just do dolphin one leg up and then switch. If you're comfortable kicking but you need to have the wall right there for you, then let me make sure you can see you get a good view of my wall, because that way you can see what I mean here. here. So if you have the wall, and it's good to have your elbow on the mat, otherwise it's very painful, and you don't need this. So if you're going to do against the wall, you want to be a little bit far from the wall, maybe about a foot, foot and a half. And you're going to come up to your dolphin, you're going to try to climb up to the wall as you can, and it might not look super great for first. It might look more something like this. And that's fine. Okay? If you already been doing this for a while, and you're pro, just do it down the wall. And if you wanted to just far away from the wall, which is what I like to practice a lot, so I have space to correct myself, about two, three feet from the wall, depending how high you are. I have very long legs, so I have to be further from the wall. Then you come to the dolphin. On your exhale, squeeze that block to help stabilize. And then you can maybe start bringing your legs up. This position I am right now, with the bottom leg hugging in the heel, helps me balance better than leg straight because there's too much weight and then it's hard to come up. So you can try to keep kicking the heel towards your glute of the leg that is pushing from the floor. That's awesome, guys. And after you kick a few times or lift yourself up, beautiful Jennifer, once you do it, just make sure your head is not on the ground, okay, guys? Beautiful, Lisa, beautiful control. Don't that head, your head down. I don't remember. I don't teach headstands in my class for several reasons, especially online. So don't do headstand. If you are having a hard time creating that opening and the strength of your shoulders, just do dolphin because dolphin will prepare you to do that for arm variation. And once you are done with that, 
You're just gonna come down and rest up for a moment here in embryo. So your forehead comes down, hands reach back, shoulders mount towards the mat. Couple of deep breaths. And inhale, hands under your shoulders to come up. Press yourself into all fours. Inhale, left leg back. Curl the back toes under and lift into one leg down or facing up. On your exhale, you're going to step the left foot forward. Low lunge. Bring the right knee down. Again, bring your palms together or variation to bend your elbows. Inhale into your back bend. Low lunge, back bend, reach back, look at your hands, go back. Let your hips to melt down and fall. Inhale to come up. From where you are here, bring the right hand under the left elbow, find your eagle arms. Curl your back toes under, lift the back knee up. And press the lunge foundation, start lifting your elbows, inhale. Find your eagle arm back bend. The inhale, slowly make your way to center, shoulders over hips. Find your eagle. You're going to take a big step, try to balance off the right leg. Cross your right leg on top of your left thigh. If it's possible, just depends on your anatomy, you might be able to wrap the right foot behind the left calf muscle. Spread your hand palm, your fingers. You're going to find staying in both fully in pose. You're going to extend the left leg. The top arm, left arm is going to reach up. Right hand is going to catch the inside of your right ankle. Inhale to left, reach the left arm upwards the sky. Exhale, keep the right leg back. Any variation, this is a denser variation, any variation that you are used to. And slowly bring the knee up, find a standing twist. So your right arm is going to go back, left hand is going to catch the outside of your right knee. You can always do this uh, just standing right by a wall so you can find your balance. And then from here, bring your chest back to center, facing forward. Bend your front knee, step way back. Hands frame the left foot. Let's just do the other side. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale to lower. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, step forward. Lower the left knee, palms together, cross the opposite thumb you did before, look at your hands, inhale, reach up towards the sky, exhale, let your arm beats to open as you look back and reach your arms back. Inhale, come up. Bring your left hand on the left arm, on your right arm. Find your eagle arms. Curl your back toes under. Press the back knee up. Widen your stand if you need for balance. Inhale, reach your elbows towards the sky. And just allow your spine to fall. Inhale, find the middle here. The center, shoulders over hips. Exhale, step into your right foot, find eagle legs. Left thigh on top of your right thigh, squeeze. Bend your right knee, wrap the left foot if it's available. Don't get caught up if it's not there. It's not about that. This is about getting that squeeze between your inner thighs. As you lift your elbows up and forward, spreading your upper back. And then from here, finding a dancer, variation of dancer, standing bow pulling pose. Extend the right leg. Right arm shoots up. 
Left hand catches the inside of your left ankle. Even your thumb on the grip next to the index. Inhale, touch the ceiling with your right hand. Right leg strong. Exhale, kick the left leg back. Let that kick drive the pose. The left shoulder moves way back. Right shoulder forward. On the next inhale, take your time. Find a standing twist. Left arm stays back. Right arm catches the right, left knee, excuse me, and then you can open the twist. You can look anywhere. Here you can look back to the back hand, forward, whatever you can find balance. And bring your chest to center, knees up. Bend the front knee, step back, palms down, step way back to now we're facing up. And come down to your knees. From here, take your hands behind you on the lower part of your rib. You're gonna find camel. If you really don't like camel, you're just gonna do bridge. You're gonna lie down on your back, find bridge pose. If you wanna do camel, hands can go on top of your low back, heels of your palms, right under the ribs, fingers towards the butt, like you're putting your hands in pockets behind you. Squeeze your elbows back. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, look back. Option to grab your heels, if that feels okay. If your neck needs support, you can bring your chin down towards your chest. And then slowly push yourself up. And see as you breathe. Hips to heels, palms rest on your thighs. Couple of breaths. Just notice all the energy moving through your body, maybe in a crazy way, maybe in a restful way, maybe it's in a wire way. None of the sensations. It's a wrong sensation to have. Feelings, memories. I had suppressed memories from traumas in childhood that came up through camel. So whatever happens in camel is what it is. And you just sit with them for a moment and breathe. And you scoop your hips to one side as you bring the legs in front of you. And allow just yourself to kind of ease your way down to a forward fold. Any variation, you can have the strap around your feet. If you just want a restful one, you're not going to be pulling yourself forward. You're just going to let your body weight to melt. If you want a little more, you can catch your feet and draw your ribcage a little bit more higher on your thighs, high and lower in your thighs towards your knees, excuse me, it's just high, low here sometimes, it's a little confusing. Just undoing all the compression of the spine, with some forward folds, one more breath here. And then you're gonna find your neck, we're going to move into a quick abdominal work with forward bend just to kind of get rid of any more stuff from the back in the back bend. So you're going to take the left leg up, grab behind your leg, just avoid the knee joint. So if you're feeling really tight, you might want to grab the back of your thigh, otherwise the calf, otherwise close to your ankle. Round through your back as you pull the knee towards your forehead and your forehead towards your knee. Then switch sides. Just for a moment, hold here for two breaths. Your left foot can be off the ground now. Pull the leg straight. Lift through your heart as you round through your upper back. So you're not trying to keep your flat back here, but you really round. And then switch. And switch. Try to use your abs 
Just stabilize a little bit, flat down in there as much as you can. You can always use a little bit more on your arms if you're, this is too advanced for you, or if you are self-care mode right now, maybe you have your moon cycle. Maybe you just had a baby about 20 years ago. Last two. Then hold both legs up, reach your fingers up towards your toes, lift your tailbone up away from the mat, and then release everything down, hug your knees to your chest. Option to do happy baby or just knees to chest, sway side to side for a moment. Find your breath. And then stop the music. This is our time for Shavasana and our meditation right now. You know, all, all of you have been to my class before, but this is first time in this class. So I offer a closing meditation. And if you're not interested, you can always mute me. Or if you have to go, you can leave. But if you have the opportunity to stay and it is interesting taking the meditation, just lie down, close your eyes, and start settling into the Shavasana. Just allow your normal breathing to take place. And start connecting with the feeling of your body against the earth. You may close your eyes or keep them slightly open with a soft focus. Allow your spine to drop down to the earth. Today we'll practice self-compassion. Take a full deep breath in. And a big sigh. I invite you to think of a situation in your life right now that's difficult. Maybe you're feeling a little stress or you worry about something happening. Or perhaps there's tension in one of your relationships. Bring this challenging situation to mind. What happened or what do you think might happen? Now that you're holding this difficulty in your mind, I invite you to consider these things. or simply acknowledge that this is a difficult situation. Find language that works for you to label what's happening right now. Maybe you feel a little afraid about what's happening or what just happened. Just bring mindful awareness to what's happening right now. Next, acknowledge that difficulty is part of life. Maybe you're going through something you have experienced before or someone close to you, or maybe you're going through something that is totally new.
Remind yourself of our common humanity. The difficulty is a part of our experience in this life. And like everything else, it too will shift. Finally, I invite you to say to yourself or your mind, May I be kind to myself in this moment. May I be compassionate to myself during this time. Acknowledge that no matter how hard the situation is, you can still be kind to yourself. You can still be kind to others. Tell the words in your mind, like you were telling to a friend, I'm here for you. You are loved. It's going to be okay. If you like, you can place one hand on your heart or both hands or one hand to your belly as you offer kindness to yourself. Breathe in kindness into your heart. And exhale anything else that's getting in your way causing you any fearful doubts, any other kind of negativity around what's happening in your life right now. When you're ready, you can find a comfortable sitting position. And when you arrive there, take both palms in front of your heart if you choose to. Take a deep inhale into your heart. A big sigh. May we be kind to ourselves so we can be kind to others and extend the kindness to the whole planet and the living beings that inhabit. Thank you, my sweet friends, for being here. Namaste. I want to thank you again for practicing with me. I hope this practice helped you get on your body, connected with your breath, and inspired you to live in a more mindful way. May we be well, may we be free, from pain and suffering, may we be happy. Namaste.